a lot has happened from a boy who only knew one thing, running away from people and spending his time in trees and forests. He never knew anything else in the real world apart from that. And today, Sanzimana Eli is someone else. He can now wash his whole body by himself. He can brush and take himself to the washroom. The boy can now ride a bicycle and aspires to be one of the professional bike riders that would attend Tour de France in years to come. He's proving wrong doubters and putting on an unbelievable class performance in his first ever term as a student. <laughs> he has totally changed and now those who said taking him to class would be a wastage of time and money are now ashamed of themselves. The last time we visited Sanzimana Eli, it was special and of course he was dressed for such a big occasion. For his first time ever, he put on different suits and looked elegant. A lot had been done to this family but the mother's last wish was to see the boy going to school and be taught more of how to live and adapt to the society as Sanzimana could spend most of his days running in the jungle and not used to the normal daily life. That day we took him to school and none of us never knew whether he can even sit and then concentrate on lessons since he had some mental problems that some experts said that taking him to class would be a wastage of time and money. He arrived at this school, Ohumwe Community Center, and he looked interested. But did he really manage to study and concentrate? Or did he fight with other classmates? What really happened since he was brought here? This is another update. Today we returned, as it has been a long time since bringing Eli here to start taking his lessons. Mazina yanje ni Ndredi Mana Vincent William. Na waringe ufite munchinga na ufite umuga. Mazina yanje ni tukwa waisingze Rosine. Na waningi shawa na ufite umuga. Rosine is the class teacher. She has been teaching many different disabled children in this institution for quite a very long time. She tells us more of the boy's performance and even his behaviors in class. Most people never expected any good result from the boy, but as teachers, they trusted him and trusted the process. And step by step, they did their best. And as we all can see, the boy is very attentive in class, which is something the mother would be proud of. At first he was told not to be scared of other people, as he could see anyone coming close and runs away. He was also told to behave and stop fighting, which he has managed. And about the academic performance, the boy is also doing better. When he came here, he never knew how to hold a pen or pencil. He never knew what a book does and why one has to be in class. But now, he knows it's crucial to be in class. He can hold a color and start coloring a book, even though he does not do it perfectly. But one can see he tries to understand the assignment. On his report card, the performance wasn't poor for a guy who lived and spent almost his entire life in the forest. We are talking a guy who never knew anything and was called a monkey. And this result is quite impressive and special thanks to those teachers who did such a great job of helping the boy to become someone who we are all happy for. <laughs> Sanzimana Eli had to be told everything from scratch. He had to be given some knowledge on how to live a normal life, starting from teaching him how to ease himself in case it's necessary. 
how to go to the toilet instead of going to the bush and more. One of many things he was taught here is how to eat. All he knew was using the mouth only. He was then taught how one can use a spoon or even clean hands when eating, how to hold a cup when drinking and many more techniques that he has mastered in such a short period of time. Among the important lessons the boy has been taught here includes sanitation, how he can clean himself, wash his whole body by himself and even avoid trying dirtying himself. And now he can do this very well and even brush himself. They no longer have to do it for the boy. All they do is guiding him and let the boy do the rest. At the beginning, it looked impossible as the boy never knew anything and never had the will or desire to even learn. But since they are experienced enough, they did their best, though it took them some time. But we are all happy of the progress our boy is making. Well, he's not doing this perfectly. But the fact that he tries and now understands whatever you tell him is an assurance that shows he will even be doing more and more in the coming days which is what the boy needed. He needed to be more of a human than a monkey, as other people thought. William is in charge of all children here who are physically or mentally disabled. He says it was not easy as one can think, but they cooperated and worked hard, and today Tanzimana Eli is totally different to the Tanzimana who was brought here. Tanzimana Rumunu, Sigia Kunda Gusava, Nachane, Guchina, Goveravandivana. They discovered that the boy is a fan of bicycles and is interested in riding. So, in what they call extra curriculum, they're teaching him how to ride. And the boy looks interested in it and might be having a passion in riding. And as we can see, he's interested and loves it. If he keeps up the love he has for bicycles, he might be one of the best cyclists that we've ever seen. And one day, we won't be surprised seeing him compete in Tour de France a few years to come. After giving them reports, it's now time for holidays and Tanzimana Eli is getting ready to go back home and show the mother everything he has learned. And we hope that the mother will be impressed by such a quick change that will make her proud. We head back to the village where Sanzimana Eli lives. It's a long journey from where the school is located to the home place, and we found many neighbors, including young children, waiting for Sanzimana Eli. One of the most deflating feelings to our self worth and life path is stagnancy. We can float through life as though we know enough, and for some, that is sufficient. Some of the greatest moments in our life revolve around learning something, no matter how small it may be. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afrimax English. Remember to subscribe.